At the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center, James Cancer Hospital and the Solo Research Institute, our vision is to create a cancer-free world, one person, one discovery at a time. Ours is the only cancer program in the United States that features a National Cancer Institute designated comprehensive cancer center aligned with a nationally ranked academic medical center and a freestanding cancer hospital on the campus of one of the nation's largest public universities. Having a comprehensive gynecological oncology program really puts the patient at the center of a totality of an extensive multidisciplinary team. So as gynecological oncologists, not only do we do surgery, chemotherapy, end of life, but you bring in the most important aspect of a patient's care, the rest of the team. At the James, we have a lot of different surgical options available for our cancer patients. Um, we do a lot of robotic surgery. Um, this is mostly done for the endometrial cancer patients, so robotic hysterectomy with bilateral subbing gophrectomy, and most patients have a sentinel lymph node dissection, so less risk of lymphedema with that, less complications. But we're also using this for interval cytoreductive surgery for ovarian cancer, if the patient is a good candidate for that. We have been pioneers in robotic surgery, adapting to new techniques, the sentinel lymph nodes. We're now doing that in patients who have open surgery for cervical cancer. The other major thing is that we collaborate with so many surgical um, subspecialties also to really make sure that we have the right procedure for the right patient and that they get the most specialized care in the best of hands. When a patient comes and sees us, the first thing we're trying to do is find the best therapy for them. And we also look at the most cutting edge therapy which is available, which is often through clinical trials. PARP inhibitors are probably the greatest impact we've had in ovarian cancer in our lifetimes. These agents impact the DNA repair mechanisms of the cells. We found that PARP inhibitors are most impactful in patients with BRCA mutations, or what we call homologous recombination deficiencies within that cell. We have now found if we treat women with PARP inhibitors in the upfront setting who have BRCA mutation, as high as 50% of those patients may be cured. The OPTIC project is actually an initiative, and OPTIC stands for Ohio Prevention and treatment of endometrial cancer. So we are molecularly profiling all of the tumors from the women who participate in this study to identify DNA signatures that predict outcomes. Optech is really important across the state of Ohio because it's gonna set the standards for being able to use genetics to better be able to detect the changes that occur in endometrial cancer. And that's gonna be a way that we can hopefully roll that out across the country and across the world to improve our standards at the process of preventing more women from getting endometrial cancer. So many women with gynecologic cancers in general should have genetic testing these days. And we know that across the nation, we're not doing a very good job at making it easy for them to do. So we changed things up at the James and said we need to put a genetic counselor on site. I am a cancer genetic counselor at the James and work specifically in gynecologic oncology. And we are able to do testing in a timely fashion so that those treatment decisions can be made. But beyond that, we can take care of families too. So we can offer genetic testing to family members when necessary so that we can put a risk reduction plan in place, which ultimately, hopefully, will prevent cancer in the families. Women are treated at a comprehensive cancer center will literally live years longer compared to a smaller volume or a non-multidisciplinary center. It is so important not just living longer, but living better with a better quality of life, making sure we're incorporating patients in their improvement or quality of life. And we have all of these people to support the patient and their journey throughout their battle with gynecological cancer, hopefully ultimately being cured of that disease.